Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to hide your kids for this one because holy smoke, is it ain't no joke. Okay, because man, I remember when this was raging wildfires, right? And then the story kind of went nowhere, essentially, and we all saw the fallout of Dr. Disrespect. Whether you think he's guilty or not guilty, that's not what we're talking about, but we have seen the outcome, and the outcome was crazy, right? Like, he got demonetized by YouTube, he was banned by Twitch, right? Sponsorships pulled, everything went just haywire, everything just went crazy, but with Chris Tyson with Mr. Beast, nothing happened though. Nothing happened, people forgot about it, but now, you know, apparently we got more news. Like the video if you're with, hey, leave the kids alone. Dislike the video if you're not, man. Holy crap, what are we talking about, man? But I got like a bunch of videos that I wanna share with you guys. We're gonna get right into the story. Shout out to all of you guys out there, man. I wanna shout out all of you uh, real quick here, man. Shout out to all of you guys, uh, Michi. Uh, shout out to all of you for following over on Instagram as well. I appreciate all of you, Grizzim. Sly Slum King Abud. If you do have Instagram, I would love to have you there, okay? All right, let's get back to the content here, Kaji. No, it. this has gone way beyond just YouTube drama. This is a very serious situation that Mr. Beast and Amazon are facing. A class action lawsuit against YouTube star Mr. Beast and Amazon has been filed on behalf of five unnamed contestants in the Beast Games reality competition Holy. show, alleging they were subjected to chronic mistreatment, sexual harassment, and more. And no. it is not good at all. Failed to pay oh, minimum shit. wages and overtime. Failed to prevent sexual harassment. Participants weren't uh, provided uninterrupted meal breaks and rest breaks several <laughs> contestants ended up hospitalized others reported no. suffering physical and mental complications while being subjected to what the hell what was going on what the hell okay i laughed at the okay so meal was not provided of course that's shitty but i guess if you're in a competition where you uh, if the competition is about like staying hungry then kind of makes sense right like you're fasting okay i'm not gonna criticize mr beast on yeah he kept uh, his comp uh, like his uh, uh, competitors hungry okay i'm not gonna criticize him over that because yeah like competitors must have known about that right before signing up for this competition but what was he doing that several contestants ended up hospitalized chronic mistreatment, uh, degradation, uh, and the female contestants' hostile work conditions. I mean, listen, on one hand, I'm just like, okay, then why the fuck are you still there? Like, if these things happen, why are you, why yeah, did you stay? Yeah, 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 Whatever, yeah. That's, that's neither here nor there. Mr. Beast is being eaten alive. This is a guy who has virtue signaled and pandered to try to become the most mainstream-friendly YouTuber on the planet. And now you're being eaten alive shortly after you made this statement that you want to become president of the United States. How's that working out for you now? This is the same guy that, that, that criticized President Trump. And then the moment Holy. you said you want to become president, look what's happening now, buddy. But of course, this is the world you pandered to. And now oh, you're man. getting eaten alive. This is crazy because you've got all the drama from Dogpack 404 that he has been calling out with Mr. Beast. Yeah. You've got former employees. And, and here's the thing, though. So far, he hasn't even responded, though. I, th I don't think he's going to respond like... you yeah you know what i mean and people did forget though majority people majority of people forgot now we got people suing him contestants suing him and there's like more crap going down people are talking once again right like but i don't think he's gonna respond like he did not respond the first time we heard that when dog pack was gonna drop his third video which he already did we heard that when he was gonna drop his third video mr beast was supposed to respond but he didn't respond i think he just pulled a Psych! I think he just pulled a psych and uh, he's not gonna respond. I mean, if he didn't respond then, why would he respond now? But there's a lot more. Like, there's the secondary clip right after this one that I want to show you as well. Wait for it. Oh. Employees calling out Mr. Beast. And this has been a protected entity for a long time. Yeah. Now you've got Amazon involved. You've got a class action lawsuit involved. You've got other people that have been calling him out. And on top of that, you've got this That's right insane. here. YouTubers not yeah. happy with Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul's new product. So Lo Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast just rolled out a new product to compete with Lunchables. And they're getting backlash for that. And you see Dan TDM, who's a massive YouTuber said, what happened to YouTubers, man? Uh, I can't say anything anymore. This selling stuff for the sake of making money, simple. Uh, this is selling stuff for the sake of making money, simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than yeah. to trust the people who are selling it to them do. Yeah, and, and apparently from, I, I don't know about Dan TDM, no disrespect, I just was not aware. Right now I am, but from what people are saying, Dan TDM is one of the cleanest YouTuber. In other words, meaning that he never covers any drama, he never been in drama and that's good that's good right that's good i mean yeah that's good right uh and mr beast also has been very very clean for 
God long, God knows how long. It doesn't feel like that it was for too long, though. It feels like that he wasn't too clean for too long, though. It just felt like that he was clean. But point is that Mr. Beast was uh, not in any sort of drama. And now, like, all of a sudden, it's like drama after drama after drama. It's like leaks coming out left and right. Like, contestants coming out. They leak and stuff, right? Ever Chris Tyson situation happens, right? And it's like, what What the actual hell? And now, uh, he hasn't even responded to any of that, right? Mr. Beast hasn't even responded. And now you got KSI, Logan Paul, and all of them are tag teaming. They're like the triple threat right now. And they're launching new products. And here's the thing, though. Nothing wrong with launching a product, though. You know what? Like, hey, go make that bread. Go make that bread. But, of course, when you are in... The, this many allegations or under this much heat and you got these many allegations which feels like that those are not even allegations anymore it feels like that those are like the real deal but okay allegations for now let's just uh, uh keep it like you know uh fair here allegations even though they are not like listen man especially with eva chris tyson oh man oh hell no that was proven right we had more proof though you know like crazy amount of proof and you want to know what happened nothing absolutely nothing on paper they are he's not he he is uh, ever chris tyson he's not working with mr beast anymore but apparently mr beast claims that he was let go but then it was leaked out that you know he wasn't let go apparently mr beast just said it just for the sake of it is what we heard right in comparison to what happened with dr disrespect listen i'm not saying he's guilty i'm not saying he's not guilty we had crazy amount of stories with you know dr disrespect that proved he was guilty and that also proved he was not guilty so we had a lot of news right but one thing that we don't know is what was said in the the chat logs we have no evidence on dr disrespect it was his word his own statement that made him you know be in like a lot of uh, heat right it was just dr disrespect own statement but he was not proven guilty he was not proven not guilty either but we all saw the fallout with dr disrespect and again man like this is not my opinion right like you think he's guilty okay fair you think he's not guilty okay that's fair too right i'm not even talking about that but we all saw the follow that's like you know youtube uh, demonetizing him twitch banning him sponsors pulling nobody want to work with dr disrespect anymore okay yeah whatever but 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 see like there's like even 10 times more crazier stuff came out about mr beast and uh eva chris tyson to be exact and nothing really happened brothers out here like hey man, let me just go ahead and sell some products out here and of course this target audience is primarily kids so that's why a lot of people are now criticizing hey man so you're are you really gonna sell trash to kids when people say trash i mean it's junk it's like worse than junk food right like a lot of sugar this and that but mr beast apparently like responded by saying that it got 60 percent less sugar than other products or this and that let's uh let's hear it better and of course mr beast did respond there and go, yeah. uh just a bunch of fucking word salad from him um that how they're just so mr beast responds to the drama the food drama oh did he just beat the sellout allegation <laughs> it's like what if he did that just so it's like a distraction right people are like, it's a distraction bro it's a distraction man the government is distracting what if this is a distraction yeah possible so concerned with health you're not concerned with you you're concerned with money all right you're concerned with money and that's fine there's nothing wrong with being concerned with money but don't try to act like that's not what your your bottom line is here and the fact that yeah. logan paul is involved in this there logan paul is yeah. truly like i despise logan paul with every bone in my body i respect the fact that the dude is phenomenal in a wwe ring i'm a wrestling fan and logan paul is truly phenomenal in the wrestling ring the dude uh -huh. is unbelievably talented okay. but i hate him with every bone in my body i can't stand logan paul um i will never drink prime ever like if it's the last drink on earth then i'm just clocking out and i'm done because i will bro you gotta drink it to survive man but personally i never drank never drank prime i guess like let me yeah okay oh, okay bring it down man bring it down okay <laughs> let me just give me uh like the participation trophy too i mean like whatever right but I never drank. I don't think I'm gonna ever drink. Like, there's no point in drinking. Drink water. Water's the best, man. Do push-ups right now, guys. Eat your vegetables. Dry. Eat healthy, okay? Go crazy, but eat healthy, all right? Drink water. Drink a lot of water, man. I will not That's good drink Prime. I refuse to drink Prime on principle. I will never do it. If I go to a restaurant and all they serve is Prime, I'm walking the fuck out. Um, I can't believe it's so successful. I can respect that, but I mean, brother, please, right? Like, if that's pr if Prime is the last drink and you're, like, about to die... Drink prime, man. Drink prime. Survive. 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 Plant seeds. Uh, then plant seeds. 
so the population can regrow again. That's how the mafia works, man. That's how the mafia works. But I, I get it though. Like, I mean, if you got hundreds of uh, drinks to choose from and prime, then ain't it. Okay, I, I get that. I get that. I get that. Successful, but it is. And that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, I okay. will never drink that thing. Okay. Ever, ever. Okay. Um, so Logan okay. Paul responds, sure. and he says, I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spend our lives creating content and building brands. Now we want to build businesses. And then he's just whining and crying. Logan Paul and, and Mr. Beast are not YouTubers anymore. They're just not. They are. You don't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But when we create a better version, okay, so Lunchable is something that it already exists. I never heard of it. Uh, okay. Uh, so they created something, yeah, Lunchly or something like that, right? So equivalent. But apparently, okay, so from going from this one, it makes me feel like that their product does not contain lead and Lunchable does contain... Uh, yo, see, they, he's saying allegedly because, uh, yeah, allegedly is... Uh, you, you don't want to get sued, so you want to say allegedly. Makes sense, though. So. Uh, Lunchable faces bans for allegedly containing lead. But when we create a better version, you're upset, then don't eat it. Okay, don't eat it, man, don't eat it. Are, they are so far detached from what made them actually successful. And uh, they are now, they're in another stratosphere when it comes to that. So these guys have forgotten who they are and what got- now, now listen, man, if you think this is messed up, I hear you. For me, it's like, I, I, I care for like the other stuff that came out before more than this, if that makes sense. They're launching a product. I don't care if they're launching a product, but I understand though. It's because uh, it's a combination. It's it's a multitude of things, right? It's like the, all the allegations surrounding Mr. Beast, right? Uh, and Logan Paul. So when both of them are coming together, KSI has been under some heat, but KSI, I have not seen like any crazy allegations on the likes of Logan Paul and Mr. Beast uh, on KSI, right? But KSI also gets dragged into it because of Logan Paul, and now I guess he's gonna drag into it because of Mr. Beast and ever Chris Tyson, right? Unless I'm missing something, then let me know in the comments. But I don't mind them launching a product. I guess it's because they're targeting children. Based that's that's the biggest thing, right? That's the biggest thing, and of course the product is trash. I mean, kids should not be drinking Prime. Kids should not be like eating that crap. They should be like getting their broccolis occasionally get some sodas get that sugar i get that i mean i was a kid once too so you know i always loved it man i always loved getting this sugar rush man i i understand i get it man but like damn like prime like all that crap g fuel prime like all that nah bro like just stay away from it man like damn bro like if you're a parent watching nah bro don't let your kids uh like drink that crap man just let them have chocolate which is also bad but i, I mean like that's better than all this crap though got them to this place and um i don't know what the details of this are i don't know if anything will truly come of this or not but this is serious this is more than just youtube drama now um and so they're gonna have to obviously they're gonna have to deal with this where there'll be out of court lawsuits i don't know and, and here's the thing and i'm just asking questions here. i'm not crazy. making any accusations crazy, yeah. i don't know who these fucking people are that are coming up with these like several contestants ended up hospitalized Others yeah, reported like, suffering physical and mental complications while being subjected to chronic mistreatment. Yeah, what kind hostile of hostile work conditions? I have to ask myself. Yeah, what was Mr. Beast doing? Like, th this is one of those things. Like, I, I, I'm also 50 50 on this one, right? Like, I, I'm sure, like, Mr. Beast m made them sign, like, a paper before you jump in the competition. Of course, that happens all the time, right? Because I, I hosted, like, a boxing event, kind of. I was, like, a, uh, like a fake boxing event, right? And then you, uh, I was a referee in that. I'd done that recently. I, I, I might post on face, uh, on Instagram later on. Okay, but yeah, I've done that. And then I, my job was to basically make sure like both of the contestants were safe, and I had to invite the guests be because apparently there was a guy that wanted to host that, right? And, and yeah, all of the contestants were signing, right? And it was like with the inflated gloves, so it was like a, you know, like a pillow fight kind of, right? Even for something like a pillow fight, it was not a pillow fight, but it was like inflated gloves. It's similar to Pillow Fight, but you do that, it was like a fun event, right? But even for something like that, they made people sign, like, papers. So if something happens, if like, you know, let's just say the boxer goes crazy, you know, he goes crazy and some injury happens, they don't get sued. So they made everybody sign papers. So I'm assuming, like, Mr. Beast must have done the same thing as well. And these uh, people were warned pr uh, prior to what was uh, gonna happen at the event, right? Like, okay, so maybe they were told, hey, you're gonna fast, so no meals. 
So if you're gonna then go ahead and complain, I'm not talking about Mr. Beast here, I'm talking about the competitors. If you're gonna complain about Mr. Beast not giving you meals, then that's on you. That's not on him, that's on you. But if that was not part of the contract, then I get it. It's like pretty shitty for Mr. Beast to not give you the meals. I, I, I get that part, but this part, several contestants ended up hospitalized. What? What was going on, man? What was going on? So why the fuck were you staying? Like, yeah. In there. I have what no, I have on? no sympathy for Mr. Beast in this situation. But I hear these things, and I'm going like, why were you there if it was so bad? Yeah, yeah. Like, did you sign like, a, a, did you sign like a contract that they could? They, they got uh, no, nah, man. Like, listen, man. From my very limited experience, they do sign papers, though. Like, they do sign contracts before. So it's very odd uh, to hear like all of this right Sue now. Sue you? First of all, why did you sign a contract like that? Why would you go into agreement? Because you wanted to be famous and you want to be connected to Mr. Beast? I don't understand these things. Yeah. None of this shit makes sense to me. I would never want to give that much power um, over to someone else over me. I don't understand that. That sounds like a lot of fame clout chasing to me. But again, I have no sympathy for Mr. Beast. These are just questions I have. Yeah, okay. Let me actually show you this. Uh, shout out to the homie, more Pegasus. And surely shout out to the homie, Geeks and Gamers. That was Geeks and, Geeks and Gamers, everybody. Everybody, welcome on in. Welcome. Now, the homie, more Pegasus and rolling. All right, rolling. Who he's collaborating with. Logan Paul and KSI. Both of these people have there been exposed go. by CoffeeZilla for allegedly, according to CoffeeZilla, scamming their audiences with crypto. These are people with horrible, horrible track records who are just trying to take your money and have done many, many horrible things. I think everybody remembers Logan Paul's forest incident. I don't know how he now listen man everybody we all make mistakes though and that's fine though we all make mistakes but there are for sure certain mistakes bigger than others uh I'm not sure like I feel like the KSI has also been under like some I guess everybody at one point would uh you know what I'm saying like no I'm saying nobody's perfect even I'm not perfect nobody's perfect and mistakes are made by everybody we all make mistakes though but 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 my point the point that I'm trying to stick to the topic uh my the point that I'm trying to make here is that KSI, I don't think he has been under like massive trouble or massive allegations or anything like that. Could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But the fact that he's working with Log Logan Paul and now with Mr. Beast, yeah, like I feel like that a lot of people are gonna point fingers at KSI. I guess understandably, but it might be unjust. We'll see what happens. Possibly but. got a career after that, but he's still going. Scamming, scamming, scamming. You know, starting these BS companies, they're just absolutely unhealthy trash. Like if you're out there feeding Prime to your kids, I question your parenting, all right? Just gonna say. <laughs> Honestly, in the past two months, Mr. Beast has also been exposed for absolutely scummy practices, according mm -hmm. to Dogpack404, you know, hiring registered mm -hmm. offenders, criminals, allegedly illegal lotteries, you know, whenever people have SA scandals, moving them around the company instead of just firing them. You know, all the stuff we covered. So I can't say I'm surprised. This is actually very fitting. Three of the most untrustworthy were the people on the planet elaborating who would have thought okay, like, I, I don't know much about KSI stuff so but but I guess KSI is not a kid so he knows like who he's collaborating with so yeah I guess guilty by association I don't like that term but but maybe I'm missing something maybe he's done also some crap that we that I don't know maybe who would have thought? Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Lunchly in the comment section below. Like, are you ever going to try it? Or are you going to give it to your kids or something? No. By the way, on the no. Lunchly site, hidden in their privacy policy, it says this site is not for people under the age of 16. Bro, Jimmy's fan base, Logan Paul's fan base, and KSI's fan base is not over the age of 16, let's be honest. Right. right? So who exactly are these Lunchables for? If it's not for kids under the age of 16, that's the same thing you said for Prime. Oh yeah, no, no, but this is not a kid's beverage. Like, who are the ones freaking consuming it though? Like, you yeah. know what you're doing. Anyways, moving on to even more Mr. Beast allegations, another former employee has come out exposing Mr. Beast in an interview. His go. name is Trey, and he's actually an editor for Jacksepticeye. And apparently, he worked for Mr. Beast for three whole years and had many, like, Yo, okay, now it makes sense. You guys remember when Jacksepticeye a while, a long time ago came out and he called out Mr. Beast, right? I remember that. So maybe it's because of, I'm assuming this is the ex Mr. Beast editor, now Jacksepticeye editor. Maybe he kind of kept uh jacksepticeye up to speed maybe he brought him up to speed maybe he's the one told stuff about mr beast to jacksepticeye important responsibilities there he tweeted out yep i worked with mr beast for a considerable amount of time from 2018 to 2021 this video sheds light on jimmy firing me for refusing to work for more than 45 hours a week for him incredibly illegal of him and his team to do this after he called me incredibly angry about a sponsored video that was never going to do well in the first place demanding me to lose sleep and achieve absolute perfection out of a video while also putting in zero work himself to okay i didn't know like you couldn't uh, make people uh Okay, I guess if you refuse to work more than 40 hours a week, and if they make you work 40 hours a week, then that's legal. Okay, I didn't know about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, makes sense. 
to do so. This is a video by another commentary creator called The Asher Show. You can check out the whole thing on his channel. Holy. I'm just going to go over a few parts over here. So basically, Trey talks about how overworked he was. He talks about James Warren, the secret CEO, allegedly handing handing out Adderall to make the employees work more um, and a bunch of more insane things. How long did you work for Jamie for Almost three years. I started off with me editing for Beast Reacts in 2018. So Mr. Beast was given a, a, allegedly by the by the looks of it a, Adderalls to his editors so they don't lose they they like like work 24/7 man now listen man i understand you want to reach the stars okay i get it man i get it like you got to sometimes go for the stars you go you got to like go for the dreams i get it though but you feeding Adderall to your editors so they work 24/7 <laughs> Man, like what we talking about, bro? Like these things like, making YouTube videos, man. These things like, don't need to be on high on Adderall all the time, man. Come on, Jimmy. Like what we doing, Jimbo? Did a lot of work to really prove myself on that and then became editor and post-production manager. Moved out to North Carolina, worked on more main channel videos. They wanted me to work on main channel videos, but they also wanted me to head this other subsidiary company they had called Horizontal Productions. During that time, I was post-production manager. I was also production manager. I was also an editor and I was also a retention specialist. Like, oh, wow. and yeah, so I had four main jobs. I had four full-time jobs. Like I worked Thanksgiving, Christmas, my 30th birthday, 4th of July, every single holiday you can think of, I work those holidays. James Warren, I'm pr I think he's always been the CEO of Mr. Beast. To your knowledge, did you know about him offering substances? To uh, how many of you guys worked on those days? I mean, I did, but a lot of people did, but it's like, it's one of those things, right? Like if your employee, yeah, he was a Mr. Beast employee, right? Like if your employee asks for those holidays, he, he's, he has the right completely, understandably, right? Uh, and if Mr. Beast is like, okay, nah, bro, you need to stay working. Here's an Adderall. Bruh. <laughs> what are we talking about, man? If it's, if it's his choice, own choice, then that's different. For example, like I said, uh, yeah, like I, I work mostly every day, right? Like on these YouTube videos, but it ain't the same though. It ain't the same, right? It ain't the same. Some people want to work. Some people don't want to work. Some people just want to work a job and, uh, you know, they want Saturday, Sunday off that's that's perfectly fine though that's perfectly normal some people want to do 40 hours other people want to do more than 40 hours completely fine so uh, what i'm learning from this is that yeah so basically he don't he did not want it to work more than 40 hours understandably but mr beast was like hey man you need to work more and then given ad roll it's like <laughs> what are we talking man people to stay and wait mm -hmm. work longer yep yep Adderall. there was a time in uh summer of 2020 said, it might have been fall uh where Adderall was being passed around the company. There were uh, higher, higher up employees that were offering it to other employees just so they could work all night and edit videos all night. Um, so that way they could like stop complaining and stop sleeping. Um, and it was investigated internally within the company, but how far does that go? <laughs> like James Warren had to be pulled out of the company story for like a week and then the next week he was right back in. I believe that's one of James Warren. Oh man, that's bad. His friends named uh, Devin Leach and that's him admitting right there that like he is part of the crew that's passing around Adderall in the company. Uh, and by the way, in that message, John Smith is Jimmy and it's funny that my proof of that being Jimmy is <laughs> this, this message that I found where he sent an article of his wiki feed, wiki feed confirming that that's him <laughs> yes all right just more and more insane things coming out about their work culture guys it is over it is over but it's still not gonna be over though like you know what i'm saying but check out this video on the screen man this is an insane story if you already seen it then check out the video on the left and i'll see you right there